by Ethan R. Hunt here, and we are going to do another SML reaction. And this time we're reacting to their newest video out right now called the um the asteroid, I think. So yeah, let's get right into it. Before we start this video, please like and subscribe for this video for more content. Now let's get right into the video. The video. <laughs> oh man, where's the remote? Jeffy, do you know where the remote is? I want to watch TV. Hey, Daddy, I'm a unicorn. Mm -hmm. what? Jeffy, that's my remote. <laughs> you heard the unicorn, Daddy. You took away my horn. Oh, Jeffy, I want to watch TV. Just calm down. <sighs> Breaking news, okay? An asteroid is heading straight for Earth. It could kill all of us. Here's the astronaut Brooklyn T. Guy with a statement. Uh, hello everybody, my name is Brooklyn T. Guy. Uh, I went to Wedgwood Middle School, and uh, now I'm an astronaut for NASA. How do you like that, bitches? Yeah, I'm an astronaut. H how do you like that, Mrs. Leibowitz, my sixth grade science teacher? You said I wouldn't become anything when I was playing with my pencil, pretending it was a spaceship. But now look at me. I'm an astronaut. What are you doing? You're probably dead, you old hag. Uh, anyway, uh, on a more serious note, uh, there was a very large asteroid headed toward Earth. Uh, it, it's very big. It's about the size of my ex-wife. Uh, if you haven't seen my ex-wife, I, I, I really don't know how you couldn't. She, she is goddamn gigantic. She's, she's just, just fat. Uh, so it, it's a very, very large asteroid. If this asteroid actually hits Earth, we will all die. Everyone on the planet will be dead. It'll be just like the dinosaurs. But, but don't panic. We have a solution, okay? We're going to launch a nuke at the asteroid, and one of four things is going to happen, okay? The first option is that it breaks up the asteroid into millions of little pieces, and they burn up in the atmosphere. The second option uh, is that it will break the asteroid up into two medium-sized asteroids, and then we get DP'd, and we're all dead. Uh, the third option is that the nuke does absolutely nothing, and we're all dead. And the fourth option is that we just completely fucking miss. That the, 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 the nuke doesn't even hit the asteroid, we shoot it completely the wrong direction. We just, we shoot the nuke with our eyes closed, we're, we're not even looking, we just launch it. So, obviously we're hoping for the first option, and uh, we're broadcasting this live, so uh, let's go launch this nuke! Oh my god, an asteroid! Oh, Jeffy, what are we gonna do? I hope that nuke stops it, oh my god! What's an asteroid, Daddy? Is it like a hemorrhoid? No, Jeffy, an asteroid is a rock, and if it hits the Earth, we're all gonna die! I can't believe this is actually happening! I don't believe this is actually happening! This has to be a prank or something! This has to be a prank! There's no way that we're actually die today! We might actually die today, oh my god! <laughs> Ow, Jeffy! She didn't hurt that bad, Daddy! An asteroid is much bigger than that. We'll, we'll, we'll just watch the TV and see if they stop it. Okay, so uh, the nuke was a direct hit. We hit it perfectly right in the middle. It was a bullseye. Beautiful shot, really. Uh, nothing happened, though. Uh, apparently, this nuke was not big enough to break up this giant asteroid. So, uh, we have no way to wipe this ass droid out. <laughs> I, 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 I made an ass joke. We're all gonna die. Huh? Oh, come on! Come on, that's funny. We're not dead yet. Alright, but seriously, uh, we have no way to wipe this ass droid. <laughs> I, I did it again. I, I did it. I did it again. All right, you guys are no fun. Uh, so you can start rioting and looting now uh, because we have no hope, and I think we're all going to die because we have no ideas. So, uh, goodbye. It didn't work! Oh my god, that means we're actually gonna die! Oh no, what do I do, what do I do? Mm. Oh Mario Man, I'm about to go loot and riot. You wanna come? Black Yoshi, now is not the time to steal stuff. Oh, it's the perfect time to steal stuff! Ain't no one gonna be there, and ain't no one gonna stop me. It's the perfect time to get a big TV, a PS4, an Xbox, a boombox, a new chain, some fresh kicks. Oh my, it's the perfect time! Black Yoshi, why would you need all that stuff if we're gonna die anyway? Cause I can look fly in heaven, folks. Black Yoshi, you're so stupid! Man, for me, forget you for, I'm gonna go loot right. See you later. Black, Black Yoshi, go! Oh my god, there's gotta be an update or something. Alright, everyone, we're here with Dr. Frederick Fingershits, and he's supposed to help us with this asteroid problem. Fingershits? No, it is not Fingershits, it is Fingershits. I am Dr. Frederick Fingershits. Finkel! Okay, Fickle Shits. No, not Fickle! Not Fickle Shits! Finkle Shits! Like, like, like Tinkle, but with an F. Alright, Tickle Shits, how about this asteroid problem? It is Finkle Shits! 
It doesn't matter what your name is, Freckle Shits. Just explain the asteroid problem. It is Finkel Shits, for one. And secondly, I have several genius solutions to our asteroid problem. Okay, genius solution number one. We build a giant baseball bat, and then we step up to the plate, and we knock the asteroid out of the park. It is a win-win. All right, Freckle Shits, let me tell you the problem I have with this. That's a lot of wood for that big of a baseball bat. And we're on a time crunch here, Freckle Shits. Hmm, yes, yes. I see your point that that would take a lot of wood and we are on a time crunch. So, genius solution number two. We make a giant trampoline. And then, when the asteroid comes to hit Earth, it hits the trampoline and it bounces off back to where it came from. <laughs> yes, yes, Earth is saved and the asteroid has a very good time. All right, well, I see that idea too, uh, shitball. But the thing is, is we're still running out of time and that's a lot of material to use. Oh, yes, okay, okay, good point, good point, okay. So, genius solution number three, this is a good one. Okay, I say we propose a game of rock, paper, scissors to the asteroid. The asteroid will obviously pick rock because it is made of rock and we pick paper. Paper covers rock, we win, and the asteroid goes home a loser woozer. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea there, Frankie shits, because I don't think the asteroid wants to play Rock, paper, scissors, we good. And even if it did, that's a big ass piece of paper. Where are we gonna get all that paper? We're gonna run into the exact same problem as the baseball bat. Oh, yes, I, I see your point, you're right. Well, I'm all out of ideas and crayons. Well, you, you couldn't make like a, like a shrimp ray for the asteroid? Hmm, a shrimp ray? Y yes, I, I could make a shrimp ray. I would do that. I would make a shrimp ray. Yes! Uh, 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 Freckle Shits? Did, did we lose him? Well, let's hope he can make a shrink ray for the asteroid. Okay, good. We can still survive. All, right. all the scientists have to do is shoot the meteor with a shrink ray, and it'll shrink it down really small, and then we'll all survive. There's still a chance. There's still a chance to survive. There's still a chance. Yeah. What the hell, Jimmy? What was that for? I don't know why you're afraid of rocks, Daddy. Jimmy, I'm not afraid of rocks. Shrimpo hunter hits you with his shrimpo. That's a high honor. 
I mean, well, the world's in danger. The world's always in danger, Mario. Okay, but this time, there's a, there's a giant shrimp coming towards Earth. How big is he? About the size of the planet. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll take you to NASA. That, that, that's the people who need your help. All right. Breaking news, buddy. NASA has found a solution to the giant shrimp. Here's astronaut Brooklyn T. Guy from NASA. Okay, everybody, we finally have a solution for our giant shrimp problem. Uh, Woody from Toy Story here. Chewy Mama My name's Woody. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he has a solution for how we're going to fix this. Uh, Woody? All right, so now this is what we're going to do. They're going to put me in a rocket ship, and then they're going to blast me off into the outer space. Yeehaw, yes they are. Then, once we're out there in the outer space, I'm going to get out of my, of my little space pod, and then I'm going to sneak up on the shrimpo all, all nice and quiet-like. And then I'm going to look at the shrimpo, and then I'm going to do the call. Shrimpo? Jesus! All right, then he'll get in his mating position, and then once he's in his mating position, I'll pop up, and then I'm gonna gobble him up like. <laughs> himself to save all of us oh my god oh my god woody will always miss you what woody Ugh, i killed that big bastard Chewy boy. so what would you do if the world was ending I would probably be crying, screaming, 
and cry my heart out. So yeah, that's what I'll do. So that was today's video. I hope you like it. If I, if we get over 10 views, I'll make another video like this. So hope you like it, and I'll see you later. Peace.